what are, in our opinion, the three most important innovations in the new Oracle Enterprise 12C? Um, we, we've done a lot of things in Enterprise 12C, but I would say probably the three most important things are the first one is uh, we built an entire enterprise private cloud management solution in a, into, uh, into Enterprise Manager 12C, and that's where the, the C actually comes from is, is, the, is the sort of uh, importance we placed on, on sort of the cloud management capabilities. Um, the second one is we did a lot of work in the actual infrastructure of Enterprise Manager to make it more scalable, more reliable, be able to support you know, not just tens of thousands of different targets, but literally hundreds and millions of different targets. So there's a lot of work that went into that. And the third was the work we did around managing our engineered systems. So specifically around Exadata and Exalogic, we've got a lot of management capabilities that allow you to visualize both the physical and logical aspects of those engineered systems and be able to do performance and, and life cycle management on those systems. So I would say of all the more than 200 uh, features that we did, those are probably the sort of three biggest areas that we spent time on. <clears throat> the installation of the last Oracle Enterprise Manager was very co complex. Will the development team in future focus on this part of the Enterprise Manager? Yeah, when we released uh, the uh, Enterprise Manager 11, one of the one of the issues we did get back from the user community was that it was a little complicated just because we had a more complex stack because we had web logic in the stack as well as the database. So in this version of Enterprise Manager 12C, we've simplified it considerably. So the web logic uh, um, so web logic server is kind of embedded into the installation, so the the end user does not have to know about it. And indeed, the database can also be embedded in the installation. So it should be a much simpler installation. And the feedback we've had from the first few customers that have taken it on has, in this particular area, has been very positive. So, yeah, so uh, the installation of the WebLogic uh, web server was in the past yes. uh, a very complex right. uh, situation, and many DBS have nothing to know about this, and then I think it's a good idea that they have nothing to, to know about the WebLogic. Absolutely. Okay. Um, will the future release of the Oracle Enterprise Manager concede with the release of the Oracle database? And so one of the, one of the key f uh, uh, improvements we made in this release, as, as you asked earlier, was uh, is set around the actual uh, Enterprise Manager infrastructure. And one of the things we did is we built, instead of being a monolithic product, we, we broke it up into sort of plug-in modules. So the database is a plug-in module, middleware is a plug-in module. So basically when the database, let's say when 12C of the database ships, uh, concurrently there will be a plug-in for it that will fit into the current Enterprise Manager framework, so it literally should be on the same day. Oh, that's good. While well, in the past, that database 11G came, came and uh, we have no quick control for to, to right. administrate right. the database. That with a good idea that will be in the future. Yeah, that's absolutely. The what are your vision of the Enterprise Manager and Oracle database in the next five years? So for enterprise management, a lot of the work we're doing, uh, one is obviously for each component area, we continue to improve the management capabilities for database, for middleware at each, at each sort of horizontal area. And then across the stack, we're continuing to do integrations. We see a lot more development coming in what we call the sort of as a service. So in 12C, we already have sort of infrastructure, database as a service. Uh, you'll see uh, the platform as a service coming out for all the middleware. And we're looking at extending that into things like testing as a service so that you can deploy deploy, you know, build these shared infrastructure and deploy sort of complex applications on them uh, and build these, in, these services that you can make available to your users. So we see a lot more development happening in that space. And the other big piece is to bring together, uh, as you know, when we acquired Sun, we got uh, system management capabilities for our hardware and operating systems, is to integrate those together into some one single seamless product. So you have literally in one product uh, everything from storage to applications in, in a single product. But only for the products from, from Oracle, or, 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 or also for third-party products? So the, the Enterprise Management Framework, we, we, we have a very complete uh, uh, extensibility development kit that we make available to partners. So there are lots of partners who build capabilities into Enterprise Managers. So people like NetApps, for instance, have management, EMC. Uh, we have uh, management capabilities for SQL Server, IBM, JBoss, WebSphere. So these are all built. Some we build ourselves. A lot of them are built by partners. So we really depend on our partner ecosystem to be able to extend Enterprise Manager. And then end users have the ability to extend it themselves as well, and we have a bunch of customers who do that for their own uh, pieces of hardware, software that they may maintain that have nothing to do with Oracle. At this time, uh, the licensing of the Enterprise Manager is uh, with the database, at, at example, it's, it's free. Right. Uh, in addition to the packs, are right. uh, not free. Uh, 
do you plan to change it or is it uh, in future also free for use? No, I think that the, the basic framework is always going to be free and then uh, the, the licensed parts are the packs for either database or middleware or Fusion applications or e-business. So we have management packs for all our different products, but the framework remains free and the extensibility kit and all that is free. Okay, thank you very much. All right, thank you. Thank you.